Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the excellently told Paradise Lost. Now this game was developed by Polyamorous, published by All In Games and is available to you for just £12.49. We play as Zimon, or if we are going by proper, proper British standards of poorly spoken foreign, Sir Simon. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Anyway, we end up discovering a Nazi bunker in the barren Polish wastelands and explore a lot through it. Now, this plays more as a walking simulator, there's lots of dialogue, but it is a brilliant story that unfolds in front of your eyes. Now, achievements wise, it's very simple. For the majority of the game, we just get achievements for story related progression. At the end, we need to make a choice, quickly reload the checkpoint and then choose the other choice. And also we need to quickly replay chapter 1 at the end of the game to get an annoyingly pointless, in my opinion, achievement where the bloody plath splits. Why? Anyway, this game should take around just under 2 hours to complete. Uh, I don't cut anything out in the video so you can keep up with me and where I'm going, etc. That includes any unskippable cutscenes and dialogue. Also, there won't be as much commentary as you will end up hating the monotoned Go here, go there, go up these stairs, then up your mum. You know, that kind of stuff. Honestly, this game is slow paced enough that you should just be able to follow with ease. I promise you. I love you guys too much to break a promise. Anyway, enough rambling old man, let's get to it. So, you start a new game and this is basically, this is basically a loading screen, but with more colour-ish. So just wait until it does its thing. You don't have to press a button at the minute. So then, this is the beginning, we are out of the cold and into the warm, the nuclear wastelands of underground Poland. So you move with the left stick, move your camera with the right stick, there's only a right to go until we hit um, some darkness. Zimon, I'm not going to be calling him Sir Simon by the way, <laughs> Zimon we're going to get a lighter, we're going to get an unskippable cutscene so, well, enjoy. This is how we fight it. See? <laughs> and now mommy's going to make it all warm and cozy and you tidy up your toys, okay? It'll be warm in no time. Nobody likes when it's cold, right? Maybe when you're big and strong the winter will go away. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no way of knowing. We just have to take it day by day. Did I tell you how brave you are? Well, even if I did, I don't say it enough. You think I'm boring, hmm? But that's what being a mom is all about. Being boring. Time to sleep, little one. No matter how dark the night, the new day sun will rise. Pamiętajote. So after the cutscene then, we can just continue walking forward for the moment. This is a very quick, very dark area, so it's it's easy enough. Um, now there are like um, little things that we can interact with, uh, letters and items and all types of things like this. Case in point here, there is a letter that we can interact with and read if you want. None of these are needed for any of the achievements though, so it's purely just for story related stuff right there. So if you want to read them, you carry on, otherwise we will just be leaving them. Uh, just go straight and go straight down the stairs ride, meow. 
can be a little bit tricky to see, but we're going to head to the right a little bit. And then to your left, there should be some uh, stairs. There we go. You should be able to see just a dot in the distance. And that is where we are heading. So again, anytime you see a white dot like this, press the A button and we can get through any um, unbreakable areas or something. It's nothing. It didn't sound like nothing. Well, are you going to bring me that rotor or not? It's broken. Why didn't you say so? Mom? Who's this? It's no one. Do you understand? It's no one. Yeah, so this is getting El Tasty. That's very Coronation Street soap, EastEnders style stuff right there. Anyway, more to that later. Keep heading towards the red light for now until we hit a door on our right hand side. There we go. Um, we also can't get any further than the red light, so just keep heading towards the light at the back of the room. Um, I'll do a bit of commentary in this sort of tutorial level while it's quite dark and everything. And as we hit this then, this is what we'll be doing for the majority of the game. Press A to interact, press the right trigger, and then you need to use your right stick to move it down. Or wherever the bar is at the bottom there. It could be on the left, could be up. But it's very easy, it's not a mini game or anything. You literally just press the right trigger, push it down, or whatever it is, job done. Now go over to this button and make sure to press the second button that we're already on, the bottom one. Again, if you want to... Um, move, it's always the right stick to go up or down and then obviously A to confirm it. So on we head, again just uh, interact with this button right here, a lot of this is in um, German slash Polish. I am so sorry, I really am a bit dull, so I don't want to say it's in German when it's in Polish or vice versa. Because if I just say both, then I'm kind of right. Red? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's stick with that. So interact with the lever. Again, obviously it's the right trigger and then pushing the right stick down. And then take a nice little... And it's not bad. Oh, by the way, Sir Simon here is only 12 years old. I was still... <laughs> genuinely, I was still pissing my pants when I was 12 years old. So, well done, pal. Well done. Uh, head to the right. <laughs> and we're going right the way around. And from here then, basically, all we're doing is basically following the white dots. Press need to interact with it, but it's from here where the game is just... It gets a lot more interesting, but it also gets a lot easier in terms of... There's not much to do with any buttons. We've basically just gone through it all in terms of um, how to interact with items and how to move items and use levers, etc. So it's not too bad now. And as you can see, if you also press the left trigger, it kind of zooms in slightly, ever so slightly, and I, I don't know if that's like a sprint or if that's just a zoom in button, but if you hold the left trigger, it, in my head it was, a, it was a tiny little jog button, so, you know, think of that, don't want you will, uh, but head left here, and we're basically just going straight, but again, from here then, it is, it should be easy enough now to sort of just follow along, the game is, is very good, but it is very slow paced, which I suppose it's good if you want to be following an achievement guide.
So then, here is the point where the path splits and we get two different achievements for it. Hate. Hate, hate, hate. Stuff like this, by the way. But that's okay. Um, so as you can see then, it, it took, it takes just enough, sort of 15 minutes or so to get to this point. But basically, we are going to be going right through the gate. Later on then, we'll be going straight through the boxes at the end, as you can just see in the distance. But for now, like I said, we will be going right, going through the gate, and we'll be getting the Paradise Achievement that way. So, yeah, again, like I said, there's, there's nothing too spectacular or anything that's going on here. It's all nice and slow paced, so you shouldn't have any issues with keeping up, hopefully. And if you do, then I'm very sorry, and... Well... No, that's fine, that's fine. Just keep following, just keep following. By the way, while we are on the subject, any items that we pick up and you need to put away and put in your pocket, you just press the B button. So if we interact with the left item here, which is like a, a, a used keycard sort of thing, press the B button and you'll, Sir Simon will put that in his pocket. And then we just carry on. Carry on Polanding. So there we are then, that is basically the tutorial level done, now we're going to get into the nitty gritty of stuff. But like I said, once again, there, there's no new game mechanics, there's nothing else that um, we really need to learn or anything, but I will just pop in um, every now and again when something new happens in the game. But like I said, in terms of game mechanics and everything, we're basically all squared away, so we can just keep walking, enjoying the Nazi scenery. Unless you're not really into Nazi stuff, which a lot of people, I suppose, are not. But you'll do anything for achievements, won't you? Like me. Right then, so this is the first point where we're going to be speaking to Eva. And no, it's not Wally 2, this is Eva from Poland. 
and this is the first point that we're going to be speaking to. But basically, any dialogue options like this at all, we can always just choose, you can literally choose any option. So it could be the first or second, literally anyone. The only time that we need to make a uh, dialogue choice, a particular dialogue choice, is at the very end of the game when we see Eva. Um, again, so yeah, so literally you can just pick the first one. I always end up just picking the first dialogue option So again, you won't mess up any achievements or anything. Just pick a first option and job should be a good one oh, You can tell me Yeah, that's right So what do you say want to be partners in crime? I mean some sort of control center so I've got a pretty good view of things there are cameras, switches, and whatnot in here. I could help you find whatever it is you're looking for. What do you say? How can I trust you? I don't know, just trust me. Somehow I got myself locked in here. So I just need you to find the control room and get me out. You help me and I help you. That is called a quick pro quo. I know what it's called. All right, all right. So? Will Don't you help me? I will help you. Tell me how. So, I have this map and I think I figured it out. We are on level two. Uh, should be minus two if you ask me. Anyway, the room you're in is connected to a warehouse that leads to the forge. And that's where the control room should be. And that's where you are. That's right. Just come here and get me out before I completely lose my mind. Oh, as a gesture of goodwill, I'll even open the door for you. Voila! So, I guess I should get going. Yep. Be careful out there. I... Did you want to say something? I'm glad I found you. Oh, I'm glad you found me too. Anywhere, so if you see a microphone, you can say hi or whatever. It doesn't look like you're getting out of there so easily. I can't get through. I can see that. I have an idea, but I need your help. What should I do? Do you see that crane? I think I can control it from here. But first we have to release it from that thing. Can you do something about that? I can try. You need to pull it. Got it! What are you planning to do with that rocket? Be quiet, I need to focus. Oops. Watch out! It might blow up! It won't blow up! Don't! Are you alright? 
How did you know it wouldn't blow up? I didn't. So you risked my life? Hey, I got you out of there, didn't I? Anyway, I don't see any cameras in there. So I'll meet you on the other side. here. Hello? This is the right room, isn't it? Hey, where are you? What do you mean? I'm still here waiting for you. I'm in the room you told me to go to. What? That's impossible. You must be in a different room then. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't know. I didn't mean to send you on a wild goose chase. That's okay. We all make mistakes. You're kind. I really thought it was here. <sighs> it really means a lot that you trusted me. I'm sorry I disappointed you. The truth is... I don't know what's happening to me. I've been locked in here for I don't know how long and I'm getting really scared. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you are my only hope. Hope isn't going to help me find a way. You're right. What are you doing? Just give me a second. Yes, I got it. It says here you're in a control room, right? So you're probably talking through an EVE console. I guess. That machine has control over the entire area. We should be able to get access to the maps, doors, shafts, everything. But the screen says it needs a memory tube. Huh. I wonder what that's for. See if you can find one lying around. 
I'm looking it up right now. It says here that the memory tubes have something to do with the oversight system for the whole bunker. They recorded events back when the system was still working. Pretty horrific. Yeah. It's like the bunker was trying to defend itself. By any means necessary. I guess that's all war really is in the end. People killing each other in desperation. Did it end? Did what end? The war. Did the war end? I think so. I don't really know. Yeah, no one tells me anything either. So... What was it like where you came from? There's no one out there. Everything is dead. That's... 
That's sad to hear. So... What do we do now? Now? I have access to the control system in this area. And I can let you out of this room. I'll study the map and try to find the central control room. Go straight through the forge. There should be a passage down there. We're supposed to go. It's a dead end. What? There's no way to keep going. According to my map, there should be a pipe there. It leads directly to the living area. Can't you see it? So? You expect me to jump? Listen, I wouldn't have led you here if I didn't think you could do it. Can't you help me somehow? Sorry. There's nothing else I can do. Now it's all up to you. You trusted me once. I just need you to trust me again. That pipe is part of the cooling system for this forge. There's a small reservoir at the end that should soften your landing. At least there should be. Should be? You mean you aren't sure? It's been so long since anything in here was working. It's anyone's guess if it's still there. But I'm willing to bet that it is. You said the world outside is lifeless, right? So what? So even though it's an empty, unforgiving place, you survived. You are a fighter. You can do it. What will happen if I jump? Have you ever felt helpless? Like you have no control over the things going on around you? Like you have to just accept whatever happens next? No matter how painful it is? Things don't have to be like that this time. You're in control now. So, to answer your question, if you jump, at least you'll know you've done everything you can. And that's more than anyone can ask for. Okay, I will do it. I will jump. Everything's going to be alright, trust me. You can swim, right?
down here? Now, I'm going to be speaking on this, but basically there was a little glitch that happened for me. Hopefully it doesn't happen for you too. But basically, and you'll see it right now. So as I um, press the door and do the normal switch to go through, I glitch straight through the door. Now, it is a problem. This These doors are not a problem, but basically you can't go back through those doors, which is fine because we're not going to be going back through those doors anyway. Um, so I, the first time I went through this, I glitched on those doors and I glitched on the door, the next double doors that we're going through. Which is a problem because we need to go back through those doors. So for now, just keep on uh, heading up the stairs. And it's uh, straight ahead. Straight ahead there, you can see the double doors. So like I said, first time I played through this, I glitched through the double doors and had to basically restart the chapter because I couldn't get back out. So just, again, make sure to just be careful. Press the right trigger first and then go up and then obviously press the right stick up. I don't know if me trying to do it at the same time made me glitch out or whatever, but yeah, so that's very important there. It, it might not glitch for you at all, but it happened twice for me, so hopefully it doesn't for you. Have a look in this drawer and grab this uh, key card, or whatever the hell that is, and now we can head out. So, like I said, the first time I couldn't get back through, but the doors downstairs that I did glitch through originally is fine because we're not going back through there, so if it happens to you, do not worry. Sadly, though, if it does happen to you up the stairs, you may have to just restart the chapter, which is only a couple of minutes in. So, yeah, I thought I'd just let you know. <laughs> I'm such a nice guy. Sort of. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the walking. Directional communication is working. Uh, clearly not. We'll have to find a workaround. What if... I know it's not ideal, but given the circumstances, this will have to do for now. I'd like you to press the button, if you can hear me. Dobrze. Let's try another experiment, shall we? Mm, as I suspected, this won't be straightforward. Mm, there's some sort of safeguard block in my input. Now, this makes no sense. Why build a huge machine with this much computing power and then make it impossible for the operator to use it? Unless it doesn't want me to make any changes. It wants you to make them. I just tried to access a part of the system. Can you enable it? So for this bit, again, you can just choose the top option every single time. That is fine. It's not going to hinder any achievements or anything. So just get involved with the story on what Lujan, or in the poorly spoken British attempt, Lakjan. Or Lakjan. I don't know, some kind of British crap. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Enjoy the story. Thanks, bye. Remember, we must be careful not to overwater the crops. What's happening? We 
must have initiated the automated calibration cycle. It's overloading the system. Remember, we prepared for this. We need to disable some of these processes before... You have to authorize its change. I can only request them for you. Now, disable them as quickly as possible. That's it. Now for the next one. You're doing great. Ah, it's no use. That's it. We're turning it off. I don't think he's supposed to do that. Who cares? I haven't heard from you since that jump. Do you know how worried I was? Are you alright? Well, I... I'm fine. Then why didn't you say so? Where are you? I haven't seen you on my monitors. It looks like the poles settled down here after the attack. So you found the living quarters. Good. According to my map, they are on level 3. I'll try to find you with the cameras. I don't want to lose sight of you anymore. Do you understand? We need to stay focused, okay? Please? Okay. Thank you. 
let me out of here? Sure, just give me a second to find you on the monitors. So, you never told me your name. It's... Shimon. I wish we could have met under better circumstances, Shimon. I found another Eve memory too. We don't need to play it. The system doesn't seem to require it. What if I want to? Why would you want to? Has anything good come from digging up the past? So far, it's all been stories of destruction and betrayal. I found the man I'm looking for in one of these recordings. I'd rather you didn't waste our time with another memory too. You know my opinion, do what you want. Okay, I won't play it. Thank you. The door should be open now. Factory. I can't. Eva? Eva?
Whoa! Why is it every time a male is about to get munched up by a sword or something similar like that, it's always the goddamn testicles first? I'd rather be sawed straight through the ba brain, instant death, rather than have that old testicle pain there. <laughs> no thanks! Well, why is it always the, the male genitalia first? God damn! through this. What do you mean? It looks like a portable camera. That's so cool. Now I'll be able to see everything you see. Can you open the gate for me? Yeah, I can, but I need its serial number. Try looking for an electrical panel connected to it. Hold still. I have to type it in. Okay, got it. It should be open now. We are unstoppable. The labs? It looks more like a prison to me. So this is where they kept the criminals. I don't seem to have any control over this place. Its core architecture is much, much older than anything else around here. It's not even connected to the mainframe.
issued a one-use punch card for good behavior. So, if we want to go downstairs, we'll have to find an unused punch card. Try opening up the cells. Look, this one hasn't been used at all. We could leave now. The women here were only allowed to go downstairs a couple of times. And this woman never even used her pass. It's over. Wait, that tree? It looks familiar. This is it? This is what they were denied? The right to meet their own children? You know what? I've tried to be brave, but this is too much for me. Call for me when you're out of there. Why didn't you say so? This isn't how I remember it. I thought it was on the surface. Shimon, this isn't funny. What is going on here? Are you I sure know. this is the place? It is. At least, I think it is. I don't know what to believe anymore. And what's here? This is where we used to gather. My father performed rituals at that altar. Your photo fits in this space, but that doesn't make any 
any sense. It would mean that the baby is you. Dun, dun, dun. Luck Jan is Sir Simon's father. Oh my god, who saw that coming? Before the bombs hit? Wasn't that like 20 years ago? That doesn't make any sense. Is this the right path? I don't know. I don't want to be here anymore. It can't be much further. Please, you need to help me. I don't know how.
themselves. Do you understand? They are to blame. But we are still together. Everyone who matters is right. What happened to her? So, for one, we are now coming up to the last chapter. Now, this is the this is the one with the most important dialogue choices, by the way, when we actually see uh, Eva. Also, if throughout the game you're thinking, huh, you and Eva are going to get down, dog, well, she's your sister, so you are sick. Sick. But, anyway. So, yes, there are basically two options, but there are... I'm going to put this. There are four options, as we can just continue to walk forward. There are four options. And I won't spoil them for you. Um, but you've got two options first, and then another two options. So what we need to do is pick one option and the next option. Immediately go to check uh, load last checkpoint, and then choose the opposite options. That's all. So as as soon as the, one uh, the second achievement unlocks, then we go back to the checkpoint and go back... Uh, into it and then just choose the other options to basically end the game until we have to replay chapter one and here is Honestly my most annoying part of the game as well You could have literally just pressed forward the whole time doing this boat section Sadly, we have to do the bloody movements as we've been doing the right trigger and the up button. It's It's a pain, but luckily it's not too long. Thank God. something to you? No. The light is hurting my eyes today. Open the drawer for me, would you? I got upset when you found that I shouldn't have. It's okay, Mom. I hope he forgives me. Hope who forgives you? What he sees. What a smart, brave young man you turned out to be. Oh. 
Um, what are you talking about? Forgive you for what? Forgive me for taking you away from me. Mom, I don't understand. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> oh, God damn it, Ma, you died? It kind of looks like, uh, kind of looks like she caught extreme early, 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 early COVID symptoms there, which is goddamn shame. Hmm. So, she died. And now we're just exploring the barren Polish wasteland in this underground Nazi bunker. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. So here we go then, these are the four missable achievements that we're going to be getting, the two uh, ending ones now. Um, and, oh, what the hell? Eva is in a case, she's just been taking a goddamn nap. What, what is she, sort of Stephen Hawking in us, with his brain? She have a massive Stephen Hawking brain as well. Man, she is, <laughs> she's good while she takes a nap. Anyway. What we need to do is pick, like I said, two specific options, and then as soon as that second achievement unlocks, we need to reload the last checkpoint immediately. Um, there's going to be, a, obviously, as we've been seeing throughout the game, there's going to be quite a bit of dialogue. Um, so for the majority of this part, all we'll be doing is uh, just picking the first option. But it is when she asks, basically we're going to have two options, I will unplug you, and I won't unplug you. Very, very important to choose the same one as I do here. So, you just keep picking the first option for now, and then let me come back to you. You owe me. I said I want you to end this. Eva, why? Why? Uh, for starters, I don't even know what I am, do cholery. You're my sister. So what? It's just a label. It doesn't mean anything. You know, no one ever asked me if I wanted any of this. Every single decision was his, not mine. He was my father, but he used me as one of his experiments. And you know what the worst part is? He left me here, but he didn't even have the guts to end it. And now you're acting just like him. Eva, it's not like that. Listen, I don't care about the past. From the moment you left me, all I cared about was saving you. This might actually be the first time someone did something just for me. And I really, really appreciate that. But what I'm asking of you is an act of mercy. Something only a true friend can understand. Eva, tell me, what will happen to you if I agree? Well, that depends on what you believe happens when someone dies. What do you think? You... So... Here we go then, the main choice, as soon as she stops her yapping with her brain -offs. Uh huh. I know, I know, I'm uh, very sorry. Right, here we go then, so choose, first of all, I won't unplug you, I won't unplug you. So choose that one first, to get the I can't do it achievement. I can't do that too. I guess it's too much to ask of you, but I want you to know that I respect your decision. It's a relief to know my fate is... 
And for the next important one, here we go. We're going to be choosing, I'm thinking of leaving this place. So I'm thinking about leaving this place. Choose that one. And then tiny little bit more dialogue is going to happen. And then we need to choose the same, basically the same option again. I am leaving. Jimon, I'm leaving. So make sure to choose I'm leaving. As soon as the achievement, don't look back, unlocks. We're going to pause the game and we're going to reload the checkpoint. Now. So do it straight away, load up the checkpoint, and then what we can do is just go through the exact same dialogue again. Very, very heartbreaking. Also, by the way, Eva, I'm a 12-year-old boy, so sorry I thought of you in that way before I found out you were my sister. I just... Hey, 12-year-old prepubescent hormones going crazy, yo. <coughs> anyway, so what we're going to do, actually, is just pick the opposite options. So this time we will unplug her and this time we will leave this place. That will unlock the other two achievements and you will get another two achievements for basically completing the game before we go back to chapter one. Happy days! I bet this isn't how you imagined to find me. Everything came back to me when you found that grave. Like a flood. To think I was keeping the truth from myself for all that time. It's amazing what the human mind is capable of. Eva, you're alive. I wouldn't call it alive. I guess it's complicated. Complicated? I told you to leave. You ignored me. What's complicated about that? I want you to end this once and for all. I want you to unplug me. You owe me. I said- Eva, why? Why? Uh, for starters, I don't even know what I am, do cholery. You're my sister. So what? It's just a label. It doesn't mean anything. You know? No one ever asked me if I wanted any of this. Every single decision was his, not mine. He was my father, but he used me as one of his experiments. And you know what the worst part is? He left me here. But he didn't even have the guts to end it. And now you're acting just like him. Eva, it's not like that. Listen, I don't care about the past. From the moment you left me, all I cared about was saving you. This might actually be the first time someone did something just for me. And I really, really appreciate that. But what I'm asking of you is an act of mercy. Something only a true friend can understand. Eva, tell me, what will happen to you if I agree? Well, that depends on what you believe happens when someone dies. What do you think? You will meet all the people who died before you. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? I think you're ready. Ready for what? To make the decision. I so remember this time it is I will unplug you. Sorry, Han. I could probably sort of, I don't know, try and take you out and try and save your life, but... Apparently we're just going around the easier option, down the easier route, and we're going to unplug you. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, this is what we're going to do for achievements. You understand, right? Yes, you understand. And, remember, this option we are going to be choosing to be staying. So I'm thinking about staying here. So, I mean, rather than sort of keep you alive and stay here so you got someone to talk to at least you're gonna kill her off and then you're gonna stay here all alone in Nazi underground crapland awesome grand choice but again it's what we're doing for the achievements so Sir Simon we are gonna be picking I'm staying there we go so top option I'm staying and then that should be your fourth missable achievement right there so hopefully you would have got all four 
the ones for leaving, staying, killing and not killing Eva. So now there's going to be a bit of cutscene and everything. You'll be able to skip the credits with the uh, holding down the X button. Uh, but you should unlock another two achievements before we've got to do the rather annoying replaying the chapter one. And like I said, I'm going to be going through a new game rather than just skip to that point so you can still follow along and play along. Because it does take around 12 or 13 minutes to get there, which is a pain in the butt. Here we go again then. Now, on the PlayStation, you can make a backup save. Probably should have told everyone watching on the PlayStation earlier on. Sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> but it's easier to make a backup save on the PlayStation and just quickly replay it. Those of us on the Xbox, though, such a pain in the ass. But like I said, we're just going to nip through. It's exactly the same nothing's changed we are literally just going a different way which i do not get why games do that you know split path for two different achievements is just annoying it's so annoying. <laughs> but
But it's what we got to do, so that's what we're doing. And hey, I wish my mother looked like that. Oh, no, wait, scrap that, scrap that. Don't listen. Ignore. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no way of knowing. We just have to take it day by day. Did I tell you how brave you are? Well, even if I did, I don't say it enough. You think I'm boring, hmm? But that's what being a mom is all about. Being boring. Time to sleep, little one. No matter how dark the night, the new day sun will rise. Pamiętajote. It's nothing. It didn't sound like nothing. Well, are you going to bring me that rotor or not? It's broken. Why didn't you say so? Mom? Who's this? It's no one. Do you understand? It's no one.
Oh my god, thank god we have finally made it. So, here is the point of no return. Now remember, obviously, the first time we came here, we went right through the gate. This time, we're going to go straight ahead into and through the boxes. Now, let's just see... How'd you go in there, didn't I? No, but let's just keep going straight through the boxes, ignoring the gate um, on the right. Again, it's a very easy path. It's only going to take about three minutes or so to just get through the path. Nothing difficult or complicated about it at all. Um, but what I thought we were going to get was either a different ending or something sinister or something else was going to happen. I'm not really spoiling anything for you, but we just basically end up in the same room um, where we just go through the gate anyway. So, <laughs> that was kind of a disappointment, in all fairness, as you'll see. But, hey, the game and the story in itself was brilliant, so we can have no complaints. So, it does get a little bit dark, but, again, nice and slow-paced for you to hopefully be able to catch up and keep up and finish this bloody beautiful game. And here it is then, the achievement should unlock as soon as we jump down to the other side of the room here, There's the, the, the other side of this vent, sorry. But that'll be that then, guys and gals. That is that, so, there we go. Hope you enjoyed the game, I do hope you enjoyed the guide as well. Like I said, apologies, there was not as much commentary, but I just don't feel it was needed. Hope we had a few little laughs anyway. But that should be that. So, like I said, if this video did help, don't forget, to, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check me out on all my uh, social medias, etc. Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as well. A uh, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. I absolutely appreciate everything that you've done so far. And, yeah, so that's that, guys and gals. So, I'll see you in the next one. Big love.